You're a little off. That was a little, little bit. <laughs> Anyways, guys, welcome back to the uh, Something Original podcast. My name is Chase, and I am Gannon. Welcome back, Gannon. And we have we have a little ghost in the back of the room. His name's Adrian. He's just gonna be here to check in on us, make sure our pulse is still going. But um, do you, do you want to say anything, Adrian? Do you want to? Say hi to the audience. He's he's not going to be on camera. He's just you know he's just there. Yeah. Howdy, everyone! It's a pleasure to be the behind cameraman, <laughs> like Casper shooting a porno. Some would say a ghost in a shell. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! All right, get the get him out of here, dude. First, uh. <laughs> I guess the third uh, something original employee. So mm-hmm. we had Terry and uh, Ricky, and they died. So hopefully, um, Adrian's doesn't join the join the stat there. <laughs> That'd be absolutely terrible. Well, I'm just I'm saying I hope not. You know, <laughs> right. it, w- it would yeah. be terrible. It's for not sure. looking good, but yeah, it's not looking good. But maybe with his ghostly presence, it'll it'll. Uh, yeah keep them safe i guess yeah. so how you been man um last couple of days <laughs> uh <laughs> i don't know dude i heard there's like this been like this stomach like stomach thing going around but yeah we didn't we didn't record yesterday because i was just not really feeling so great but yeah here we are today what do you mean dude this is this is going to be out tuesday it's a regular regularly scheduled uh podcast it's going out tonight I hope so. Really? Y'all right. pray y'all pray for me, bro. Dude, recording the podcast now sucks with the video. I'll tell you what. Why? It takes like an hour. Okay, first of all, the software that we're doing, I think it's I think it's very like cool for podcasters. Mm. Um I'm not going to plug them cuz they ain't plugging us. Um but it takes for one like 30 minutes to export the file from here right and then i have to take that into the editing software i make all my edits that usually because i listen to the whole podcast on like a uh like double speed so it it takes like maybe Mm. 30 45 minutes to get through the whole podcast making my edits at the same time and then when you try and export it to render it that takes like 30 minutes and then i have to separate the audio by itself because we also do just audio right um and that takes 30 minutes and then i have to upload it uploading a video to like youtube takes about an hour you know so it is i just let that go like overnight you know i just keep it on but that because i I mean i usually get done doing the whole process like around 10 o'clock my time yeah you know and i start at like five so it's like honestly five that fucking five hours maybe four hours but i don't know yeah i didn't realize it'd take an hour just to get to youtube yeah it it's terrible yeah because it it like processes and stuff and it like youtube like looks at it i guess i don't know they filter Mm. it or something Right. Make sure there's no CP on there or something. I don't know, right? Mm. right. We're really cracking down on that shit now. As they should. Yeah. I didn't know YouTube was, like, flooded with CP, though. I didn't know that, either. I didn't know, yeah. It's fucked up. Fucked up world we live in. So you say you're sick, dude? Yeah. Well, I was. You feeling better, though? Yeah. That's cool. Did you get the tuberculosis? I don't think so. Why? Is that going around lately? No, it's just a cool segue into Red Dead. Yeah, absolutely. Did, did you ever play the story of Red Dead? Honestly, I haven't. I've only played the uh, online So you version. wouldn't get that reference? <laughs> yep, yeah, I'm sorry. I'll let you down. What the heck? Yeah, dude. All right, well, do do yourself a favor since we're playing this. Well, I've, I've just I've old... always thought it was like 
I don't know. I thought it was I thought it was cooler after I heard about the idea where you could just go around with your friends and like just do the different missions. Yeah. I don't know. The, I should probably go back and play it, but after already playing Red Dead Two, it's kind of kind of kind of tough. Well, no, I mean like, yeah, the story mode and Red Dead Two. Is that what you're talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Do you want me to spoil it? For you? Do you want me to spoil it for you? Or <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Drop, drop some knowledge. Are, are you not gonna play it at all? I guess it's old. I mean, You've probably seen fucking shit about it. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So the main character. Oh, sorry. Sorry. No. Go ahead. Go ahead. I said especially like lately with like playing with John, and he's just been hooking it up with different just money tasks. <laughs> so it's like eh, yeah, dude. Just kind of like and kind of like building my character up. Those kind of things. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll give the rundown. We've been we've been playing uh, Red Dead Two online, or I guess it's just Red Dead Online. It doesn't mm. even have like Red Dead Redemption Two online. Yeah. It's just Red Dead Online. It's like GTA Online. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's uh, a lot of people don't like it because there hasn't been a lot of content updates and stuff, and mm-hmm. a lot of people think it's a dead game, whatever. Um, but we we never really got into it when it came out. Uh, so we're playing it now you guys are having fun i've only played a couple times with you guys Mm. but um i'm at like rank 15 already you know i'm fucking balling that's what i'm saying these different trader missions these different like little moonshine runs and they all add up yeah (laughs) and ganon has a ganon has a friend who has like he's ranked like 200 something and (laughs) has everything unlocked and he's He's just OP. giving us shit, you know? Yeah. yeah. That was so nice of him to give us, like, gold that one time. It was just, like... And he's just hooking us up with all the fucking nice-ass missions that yeah. give us a ton of money. It, it's just been, like, I've been just waiting for someone to just play this game. Yeah. And then that- Sorry to uh, k- cut in on you guys, yeah. but um, something with Red Dead Redemption 2, I know Chase was just talking about kind of how it's an old game. Recently, it's actually been seeing a resurgence... And it hits it's hit its new highest ever player count on Steam. Oh what? Like recently? How many how many like uh continuous players are they getting? Uh let's see. Jamie looked it up. <laughs> let's see. In twenty nineteen, their highest player count, which I wanna guess was also continuous, was about fifty five thousand two hundred seventy one. Which got beat out by the new concurrent. Concurrent, I'm guessing, means you know, repeated. Uh, it's a, now at sixty six thousand four hundred ninety two, so about eleven thousand player increase. That's just Steam alone. That's not counting yeah, people Xbox. like us who just got it off the uh, big sale they had for Red Dead. Well, then who That's knows? Lit, like with maybe with this like spike in players, then they could maybe start adding more and more content, which would be pretty cool. Let's see what's up. That would be cool. Yeah, maybe uh but i feel like they're they're consolidating all their work into yeah. gta 6 <laughs> so i i feel like because i is gta online also getting any updates right now it's usually uh, always just adding something just like that up. reskinned yeah. and it's just it's pretty much the same game over and over again i mean gta has that like creatability it, it has like a sandbox mode where mm. players can make the content which is a smart idea for a fucking a game studio is to give players the ability to do whatever they want and make whatever they want and then you keep the longevity of your game alive mm-hmm. uh with red dead redemption there's not a feature like that so yeah i yeah. think there was for a while there was just people like that they, they couldn't play it because there was just nothing else to do for them you know they could right. just run around and you know whatever but yeah. oh, with I mean, uh, gta there is right now currently the last thirty days the average player was <laughs> average player count was one hundred twelve thousand on Steam alone, which is a gain of six thousand six hundred one from the last time. I mean that's some pretty solid numbers, you know. That's wild. <laughs> that is. But uh, yeah, I mean, do you think do you think Red Dead could benefit from like a sandbox mode? Where you just like 
I, I, it'd be like impossible because fucking GTA they have like those mega ramp shits you know that they can drive the supercars on and stuff so it's like that that's where they got like Red Dead beat because Red Dead it's very limited in technology and what you can do with a sandbox right but do you think they could like maybe some I feel like an obstacle course maybe like Wait, for have a yeah, like an obstacle course where you, like, go across a balance beam. You have to get across the river or something, and if you fall, you fucking die. I don't know. Some, <laughs> and then you grab the gold. You grab the gold on the other end, and you have to come yeah. back, and you can't, like, take your horse and stuff. Something like that, or just, like, a... Some, just mini modes. Yeah, but it's, like, yeah. mini modes, like, how often are people going to actually play that? That's also true. I remember in, like, Halo 3, like, <laughs> there were uh, the classroom maps. Did you ever play those? Where it was, like, role-playing, where you had to, like... It was, like, Simon Says, almost, and if you, like... It was an infected map, and if you didn't do what the teacher said, you got killed and turned into another person. What? No. You never played those? No. What? Uh, am I sounding crazy? Like I feel, people out there have definitely played them because I play them with a bunch of people. That was like the main thing people would play. Halo, oh, Halo Three. Halo Three. It was very old school, like long ago. I was like fucking thirteen. Mm. I don't know if I was actually. There. It was probably younger than that because I Reach was like thirteen for me. I think. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But how how you liking it, man? How you liking like Red Dead? Because you guys are on more often than me, and they're pretty fun. Um, you know, I never, I just been hopping on lately mostly at night, and it's been, it's been pretty it's been fun. A vibe. Yeah. yeah. Like what what do you what do you think is drawing you into Red Dead? Uh, I don't know, like the it's just like the whole cowboy theme of it. It's just that I don't know, it's just fun. Got you got the dual revolvers, you know hooked up. What more could off. you ask for, man? That's yeah, yeah. It's yeah, <laughs> you just fighting waves, you hop on, you're just fighting waves. It's just it's, it's just fun, man. Got the yeah. horses rolling through the old west. Look around. The map's huge, too. You got the hawks. God, God, coming through. Come on. What more do you want? Yeah. It's a very, uh, just a peaceful game. Mm-hmm. Peaceful, but I mean, like, that's, I mean, scenic violent. game. It's definitely very, very violent. <laughs> we just, like, the second we all, like, meet up, we just murder an entire town. And it's just, like... <laughs> I was well, I was like when go. you guys were doing that shit I was like I'm going to be the nice guy. I'm going to be like hey guys get out of here run away. But I ended up just falling into the peer pressure and often often people. <laughs> it's just it's just we're sociopaths. Yeah, things go violent real quick. It is. <laughs> I'm going to move into my other topic. Yes, segue perfectly I've, I've, into... I've said, well, I mean, we'll edit it. It'll be a nice-ass segue. You're not going to even know it, dude. You're not. You're going to be like, damn, dude, this... He, he cut that shit out. Like, it doesn't even feel, like, awkward, and the tension is just you can cut it with a knife, you know? It's going to be great. Anyways, <laughs> guys, you didn't hear that. I have... I, on the last episode, we were talking about socks and the right order like get yeah. dressed and stuff out right. the shower i've hit a dilemma what is this i have been i've been noticing how i put on my different articles of clothing after the shower now i'm right. aware of it and I, <laughs> I and i was like underwear socks shirt pants can alternate but it, it had to be in that order yeah. underwear and socks mm. i've i've Earlier this week, I put on a shirt first right. before anything, before the underwear. Oh, spicing yeah. it up. Yeah. Spicing it up. Spicing it up. But see, I was like, oh, shit, like, why am I doing that? Am mm-hmm. I thinking about it too much? 
And then I, the other day, I put on underwear, <laughs> and then I put on pants, like <laughs> jeans. Yeah. With that, before putting on socks. Right. Like I, I'm losing my mind or something. Well, like, oh no! I'm, just let just let it get, then don't don't think about it too much. I'm thinking. Well, I mean, I, I'm bringing it up now. I'm. I obviously am. Like, what the don't, fuck is happening? Don't think about it too much. Too much. You know that song? Just, yeah. <laughs> d- don't, dude. <laughs> just don't. I I know this song. Yeah. <laughs> just don't. <laughs> just think about. The, I'm trying. <laughs> you know that song? Don't. Hmm. Don't. Hmm. Bryson Toller. Oh, don't. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it took me a second. I was like, God. Yeah. When's it's, the album coming out, dude? Who? Adrian, who you fucking think I'm talking to? Adrian. Who's he talking to? <laughs> Which album are we talking about here? Exactly. Gannon's album. When he's... <laughs> Fuck, oh my god. Adrian, why oh, are you on um, here? Google, <laughs> I'm looking that up on Google. It's telling me that it's never going to come out, apparently. Yeah, at this rate. Talked about it like two years ago on the podcast. Mm. Well, I've just been focusing Have on you been... school, you know. Just kind of trying to get Barbara and all, you know, done and situated. And then maybe do you, see what's going do on. Do you think the album, are you still going like the alternative? We'll bring this up <laughs> later, but I mean. No, I don't think, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what kind of music I would want to play. See Yo, you on. still don't, you don't know. You just want to, you want to make the music and put it out there. Yeah, or do you even want to? I mean, am I pressuring you? Am I putting too much pressure on you right now? No, dude. No. <laughs> No, I don't know. Music's you don't know? Cool. Yeah, music. Music cool, is, but, <laughs> but I don't. I don't really see myself uh, like making it anymore right now. Just see what's going on. Just feeling it out. I mean, yeah. I won't bring it up again. You know, no, unless, you're fine. unless you're committed, bro. Right. Yeah. I like um, it. Yeah. Exactly. So back to the sock conversation. Are you like your your <laughs> routine is still okay? Is it still in check? Yeah, pretty much. What the fuck? Dude? Yeah, just socks. <laughs> are you way. like boom boom? Everything are you else. messing something else up? Are you putting like milk in before your cereal or like? No, not lately. I mean, I've been trying. Not to, lately. Like, I've been trying to switch that up. You know. Oh, you've been switching it up? <laughs> yeah. Really? Are you putting milk in with oh, yeah. first? Oh, yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? Menace. All 2023. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why, though? <laughs> Is this up? in the stars? <laughs> yeah. What's up? God. Just switching it up. I, I, I just don't know. Anything just... else? You're like, you are you like drinking decaf now or something like what what's going on no i actually just drank some regular coffee until i go so. i know okay yeah. i was just making sure i mean once once you start drinking decaf I, i'm gonna be concerned for you why is that i was just, who the fuck are you are you even ganon anymore right i guess yeah. we can get, yeah let, let, let's talk about bigfoot you you said okay hold on guys yeah. i'll put it in the comments we I, won't share the video because right. it, it's a little like foggy but mm. there's a video out there some guy took a video and to me it looks like bigfoot all right shiloh sent it to me it looks like bigfoot send it to ganon and he's like it looks a little suspicious i think it i don't know it just looked really I don't know. I just feel like he should like, like try to get a better view in some way. It's fucking Bigfoot, bro. Like, what do you mean? I, don't know. I would literally, if I would, I just, was taking that video. He was a couple yards away, you know. And he, any sound he made, Bigfoot could have just gotten up and fucking ran after him, you know. Like, yeah, but it's Bigfoot. Mm-hmm. It's Bigfoot. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, because he he would just. It, 
I don't you know. would not be going up to it and being like, hey, are you Bigfoot? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I mean, it did look kind of big when it stood up. Maybe. Mm. Yeah, when it stood up, it was like, oh, that's when that guy, yeah, it clicked he with him. Yeah, he was like, he just, oh, shit, that, yeah. that is not yeah. natural. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? And he was wearing all camo, so, I mean. You Who, Bigfoot? trust him. No, the guy that was, like, recording. He like, see, <laughs> he's wearing, like, full camo, so you know you could trust him. Like, out there with this kind of situation. He's like in a With small a town. Place. You ride, yeah. you ride through, and he's just standing at, at, on the corner of a bar, and he just like you just see the bags in his eyes, yeah. and he's just like, "Bro, my name you is gotta Jedi. get out of this town." My, <laughs> my name's name. Jedediah, and I seen way too many of the Sasquatches around here. I'd have been, I'd have been make sure that I stay clear of these swamps. And then he keeps running into him, and then yeah, he's like, "I finally got him." Got him. I'll say him so. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm I'm glad though the video was a, a lot more clear than the OG footage. Mm. Cause now we can really dissect this, you know. Did you know mm. there's a lot of infighting with like the Bigfoot community also? In what in what fighting? Infight like the the Bigfoot community are they're fighting with each other. It's been what? going on for a couple of years now. Like Wait, the why? they there's there's some Bigfoot believers that think like Bigfoot is in the w- eastern region, and then there's other ones that are like, no, he's obviously in the west, you know. Mm. And there's those motherfuckers in the central United States that are like, he's in the central, yeah. <laughs> and there's Canadians, and there's like you know the uh, southern. And then there's the Yetis over in the Himalayas or whatever, yeah. somewhere over there. Yep. Basically Bring back thing. Garfunkel, dude. Like Garfunkel knows all about the Yetis, right? Oh yeah. He's he's taking many of down. I, I miss I, him, I'm bro. In, like we yeah. we gotta have a guest guest. We gotta have him as a guest. We had him before, but you know he's just he's not returning our calls. Is he calling you any anymore? Hmm. Garfunkel. Garfunkel. No, I haven't heard from Garfunkel yeah. in uh, I don't Man. know when was the last time. Probably a couple years. It's probably ago. last time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, do you think a Yeti got him? Oh, dude, I didn't even think about that. Dude, that I have, was, I yeah, dude. I've, I've been getting these like random owl telegrams here and there, but I haven't like actually went out there and picked them up yet. You haven't picked up the owl telegrams? No, dude. It's just I just know it's bad news. How do you think? You get your address changed with owls, like an owl mailing system. Do you have to like put it on? Like, um, yeah. Who, who probably, do you contact? Like, you probably have to go out and train for a while, and some kind of like calling, <laughs> and then you have to be able to put your your arm in a certain situation, and they go, hmm. they yeah. can like Absolutely. you know, finally one just flies in. So it just then, knows. It's like, oh, okay, this yeah. this new person is trying to have his base of location here. Mm. So I need to deliver mail to him from here. Absolutely. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, I See, I'm just not familiar with the whole uh, carrier pigeon. Or not carrier pigeon, owl delivery. Yeah, it's like it's it's reoccurring, especially after like the whole Harry Potter series. So yeah. it's back. It's kind of cool. You know, it's new, fresh. It's hip, you know. <laughs> are you, you're not gonna get the whole? Uh, you're not gonna get Hogwarts, are you? I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm. What do you think about? I'm it? on the fence. I'm on yeah. the fence about it, dude. I can't. For one, it's like J.K. Rowling is a fuck. Mm. Very transphobic. Mm-hmm. She was kind of homophobic, but then she made Dumbledore gay to try to make up for it. But then the community was like, all right, that was a fucking reach, you know? Like, why are you just randomly making Dumbledore gay? Mm. Um, and she's also low-key racist. Did you ever uh, listen to, like, any of the black characters in Harry Potter, their names? It was just very I stereotypical, actually, like, last names. <laughs> I actually, I haven't really watched any of the Harry Potters past, like... I think the third one, so I don't. And that that was even a long time ago, honestly. 
Yeah. Honest truth. <laughs> well, see, the fourth one is the best. Which the one fucking is that? Goblet of Fire, bro. The Goblet of Fire, bro. Like Wait, they fight dragons and shit. Is Goblet of Fire. Does that have the? Uh, does it have? Robert Pattinson. Has Robert Pattinson in it. Yeah, yes, yeah. that one. Okay. Yeah, with a different tournament. Okay, I did see that one actually. I take it back. Maybe. Hey guys, I'm one. gonna interject here again. So, J.K. Rowling actually has no, um, basically no hand hmm. in the making of the Hogwarts Legacy game. Yeah. So she... it's, it takes place within the Harry Potter, you know, world way before Harry Potter's time. So she has no. She does. She's not making any. She might be making royalties. But she's not. She doesn't have any like written narrative part in Hogwarts Legacy at all. I I know the whole reason why uh, they they named the game Hogwarts, not like this is a Harry Potter game. You know, it's a Hogwarts game. Right. It was to like distance themselves from oh, J.K. Rowling. I see now. But but J.K. Rowling is still gonna get a cut because it's still her IP. You know. Mm-hmm. She may not have anything to do with the game or the writing or anything like that. But she's still yeah, going to the developers get the developers said they collaborated closely with her team on all aspects of the game. Oh, so yeah. So maybe just getting the, the realism of yeah. like spells right. and like the very intricate details that obviously she would know cuz she wrote it. Yeah. But like this isn't they said it's not a new story from her or anything like that. But, has all this so it's really has just all original this contact, Hogwarts, though. but yet uh, yeah. it'll put a different stamp on it, yeah. draw it away. Same, same, but different. Absolutely. <laughs> and she's still set to profit from its success, yeah. for sure. And it's going to be a success because it it looks like a really good game. The whole thing, though, a lot of another thing people are upset about is that the villains in the game are goblins. And, uh, sorry, Shadow's coming in. <laughs> but, uh, the, the enemies in the games are goblins, and they, they think the goblins are meant to resemble Jewish people. Because they, how, wait, how, wait, yeah, how? so, so in the movies, they are, they resemble, like, they have the long nose, they all work at, at the banks, they all con- they essentially control all the wealth in the wizarding world. Oh, like, and they all that... have very stereotypical Jewish last names, also. Really? Like, dude? Yeah. I mean, like. Uh, so people are saying, like, yeah. okay, the game is now like anti-Semitic, and you know, because that's the main bad guy. And none of the Harry Potter movies were they the bad guys. They were just kind of scummy towards like Harry Potter yeah. and stuff. They were just kind of dicks. But uh, in the game, it's like that's the villain. And oh, the whole premise is like they're killing children. They're sucking the blood of children. What? That are like is in it, the game. This, and that's that, that's really the plot that, of the game coming out. That's the plot. That's the plot, or that's like one of the main. That was like in the trailer or something. It was like, oh, the goblin killed a kid and drained all of the blood. And that's like a stereotype. It's what a lot of like conspiracy theorists think. Like Jewish people are sucking children's blood and stuff, make them younger. So it's a very anti-Semitic like. Jeez, wait, this yeah. that's really the plot of this new Harry Potter coming out. Yeah, so a lot of people are trying to boycott it, but that's actually it's, it's terrible. still gonna sell really. Yeah, it's still yeah. gonna sell fucking really well, and it sucks. But yeah, I I don't think I'm gonna get it. Especially since they don't have fucking Quidditch. Why not? Oh, maybe because it's like earlier in like the history. No, so you still have broomsticks. From... No. Oh. It... oh, yeah, they just... You can still ride the broomsticks, and okay. Quidditch definitely was around back then, so... So they just need the Quidditch pieces, and then get the Coliseum set up, and then boom, good to go. We there, need it. Uh... They, we need it. Well, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna get it, Gannon. Come on. No. Man. Yeah. Could, it sucks. It, it's a big travesty. Mm-hmm. Is there any games you're like looking forward to though? You said Sun Wukong, right? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. See that Sun Wukong game looks pretty good. I think. 
the new graphics. That's like, but even then, I'm more of like the, like when I hop on and play games, more of like multiplayer games, even then. Mm-hmm. But I might check out that Sunwell Con. Uh, Starfield, right? Starfield oh, comes out dude, Q1 yeah. or Q2 next year. Mm-hmm. Actually, that one, that one looks real good. Based in the oh, gameplay. yeah. Like, is that the beta that I, uh, you keep seeing? Like, on, like... It's, like, early access feeds? stuff, yeah. yeah. Man, I need to get that. Hey, so, uh, the official game for that Sun Wukong game is actually Black Myth Wukong. See, oh. here we go. Here we Just go. quick FYI. And what, and what are we talking <laughs> about now, Adrian? Come on. You there? Yep, I'm there. Just doing my researches. Mm-hmm. He's doing a good job, man. It's his yeah. first day on Earning the job. Let him cook. Yeah. <laughs> Let him cook. Um, also, Adrian, fuck you for winning the fantasy football thing. Yeah, congratulations, Adrian. Listen. No, I, fuck you. <laughs> I talked my shit. And I backed it up. I was just telling Sarah this that I I talked a tremendous amount of shit. Yeah. And it, I I am happy that I, it, I benefited. I did a lot. Just I did a lot to win. I had forty one acquisitions total, as in trades, ad drops. It's an he insane amount. Again, lost focus. his password like a quarter of the way through <laughs> the league. So he, there was like weeks where he had no players playing. There was a fucking week where you had like four people sitting out and I was playing you, you motherfucker. And you still beat me. I'm just telling you this. It was skill. when like it's Joe Burrow... It wasn't skill. You just got fucking lucky as shit. And I was that so was mad. That was week li- seven. <laughs> Joe Burrow, baby. Let's go. So I'm looking at that right now. What really fucked you is AJ <laughs> Brown didn't do shit. Or uh Quantum is St. Brown had got injured. That's what it was. Yeah. You didn't have AJ Brown. He had Allen Robinson and Dallas Goddard on bye weeks. So he didn't have a tight end or a receiver, but Joe Burrow had thirty nine point twenty four points. And then you just your your team kind of shit the bed oh, yeah. a little bit. They did. You did leave Kenneth Walker on the bench after I traded him to you, and he had twenty eight point seven. That was the first which... week you traded him, and I didn't feel comfortable yet starting him. <laughs> and of course, he fucking pops off. It was seriously every week. I always had somebody on my bench that just went off. It was like the highest scoring player on my fucking team, and I was just like, God damn it! And then I start them the next week, and then <laughs> they shit not, the bed. Yeah. They just don't do shit. <laughs> oh, God. So I so then I started trying to think ahead, and I was like, Okay, he's doing really good now. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to start him. <laughs> and then I waited, and I didn't start him. He was on the bench, and then he had another good game so i was like oh dude he's hot now i'll fucking start him next week bro <laughs> boom shit's a fucking <laughs> egg bro he does not do shit yeah it happened to like five of my players it was so annoying and then i traded away d hop because i just thought nah, he's not gonna really do much i feel mm. like kyler murray he's hurt right d hop still fucking mm. went off like consistently every yeah i kind of i kind of fleeced that off of you which is funny, though, because you gave me Devonta Smith with that, and then I just sent him right back to you afterward for Chris Godwin, which was also a great trade for me. I feel like getting Devonta Smith back, though, was a great trade for me. Again. I feel like, I feel like uh, just having Joe Burrows was a uh, great start for me. But uh... you, took, you took him in the first round. That, like... <laughs> traditionally you you never take a quarterback first round but i was like oh he's playing like that <laughs> so i had to like i just it was damn. like i've got i got if i'm going to do this at all i'm gonna have joe burrows and i don't care because i'm let's go i'm looking at his draft order right now and because i remembered when he drafted he got all bangles players it was just like first three rounds it was joe burrow first round AJ. The kicker, Evan McPherson, second round. The kicker. And then Joe Mixon, third round. And then defense, fourth round, pick the Chargers. I was trying to trade you the Bengals defense, too, but you never <laughs> took it. But it was because you lost your password, so you just couldn't accept anything. <laughs> I probably would have took it. Been stacked. Yeah. 
but I can't believe I fucking lost, dude. I can't believe I I thought I drafted so well, and then I lost first round in playoffs, and I was just like, all right, well, I'm fucking going to end it all. Adrian just stayed focused. He said, I'm going to get this bag. (laughs) We didn't do any, like, uh, like, loser has to do something, any punishments. We should have done that. We'll do it next year. Yeah. Yeah, no, this league was very, very much just a test. I do want to do a lot more with the league since it's named after the podcast. It was a podcast league, yeah. Some weekly weekly coverage of it, you know, be more involved. I do want to do, like, a a custom title belt or trophy for the winner. Mm. I got you. We're thinking of getting Adrian his own show, too, having it on the platform. Mm-hmm. What Maybe kind of, Thursdays. What kind uh, of show? What kind of show are we talking? Um, probably where he just shoves stuff up his butt. I don't know. I was gonna say a strip show, oh. but we do that too. <laughs> well, it sounds like it's just a little bit of tomato tomato between both of you guys. Yeah, I mean, I same guess. same but different. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, sounds like a good thing. Uh, it's a party. <laughs> Speaking of the Bengals, though, we won our division, baby. We out here. Oh, did you fucking watch the national championship also last night? Mm mm. I didn't either, but Georgia fucking put up sixty points on TCU. Oh my goodness. Oh my They beat them sixty three to seven, I think. Oh <laughs> just smoked them. Not like the TCU sweat. should be officially sixty five to seven. Sixty five to seven. They should be absolutely banned from ever getting into college football playoffs forever. Same with Notre Dame. Notre Dame has shit multiple eggs in the college football playoffs. Just let Ohio State do it every year. But, I mean, like, they got beat by them, so I don't know if it would be any better. They got beat by them because we missed our kick at the very end of the game. Yeah, we would have won if our kicker actually, could kick. Yeah, that was heartbreaking. Just a... There's actually some very uh, interesting stats from this TCU Georgia game. Like what? Here, lay it on us. So they had zero, obviously zero receiving touchdowns throughout the entire game, only scoring seven. That one uh, touchdown came as a rushing touchdown from the quarterback who rushed ten times for a total of negative thirty-eight yards. What? Negative <laughs> thirty-eight yards? Did you say this? Yes, negative what? 38 yards. And there, he was like a, he was supposed to be like their best weapon. He was their Matt best Juggins. chance to win on probably, offense. Probably because it... They could not break 200 receiving yards off of four completed passes. Five of those and 101 of those yards going to Darius Davis. Georgia. <laughs> Start the bus. Stetson Bennett. Start the bus. Through... <laughs> He threw only four more passes than Max Duggan, but threw twice his yardage. Yeah. Four more touchdowns, and himself rushing seven less times, having the complete opposite, having a positive of 39 yards with two rushing touchdowns. So wait, did, did the TCU quarterback only have four completions? 14, 14 completions, uh. and Stetson Bennett from Georgia had 18 completions. While Max Duggan had 152, and Stetson Bennett had exactly double that at 304. Hmm. Sports ball. That's crazy. We got the full stats That is now. great. Look at this. Look at this. We got full stats Look now. at us, dude. <laughs> Who would have thought? Or too hot with it. Another interesting stat with that game. Oh. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Georgia had eight separate people rush the ball total in that game. Eight separate people rush the ball? Eight separate rushers, three of them scoring touchdowns. <laughs> Just imagine. <laughs> that could have been Ohio State. All of State. which... <laughs> All of which each individual player had more rushing yards than the TCU's quarterback. Damn. This smoked him. 
<laughs> Dude. That, so it was a complete shutdown by all aspects. Yeah. <laughs> you, think, you think that would have like been just smoking? No, as well? I, I want TCU <laughs> to take, or I want Ohio State to take Georgia's spot, so we could have just blown out TCU also. Oh, you think that would happen? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We almost beat Georgia. <laughs> That's true. We had a better chance. It's it sucks that like that has to be one of the lowest like performing like most the least viewed uh championship game in college football. I yeah. feel like. Yeah. Cuz like, it, it was uh, just a blowout by halftime, right? Yeah. Like it It did set a record for the biggest uh win deficit in national championship history oh, geez. i would hope so <laughs> led by a quarterback who took advantage and in in a good way of the um college football covid uh protocol thing they had initiated where they gave players an extra year of eligibility to play football so mm-hmm. I mean, he's Stetson Bennett is actually our age. He was born October twenty eighth, nineteen ninety seven. So I am older than him. I think Chase is older than him. Gannon is older than him. Wait, when was he born? By months, nineteen ninety seven, October twenty eighth. Oh, he's older than me, just by a couple months. And I'm older than he started his college career. I was doing research about this Mm -hmm. this morning. Actually, he started his college career at Georgia. Uh, Did not take a snap at all because he was behind Justin Fields. Left for. a two-year college in Mississippi, which is kind of like a community mm-hmm. college. So he wasn't—he still wasn't under uh, NCAA rules. So he came back to Georgia after, I think, a season of that in 2019. Mm-hmm. And then from there, had his college career at Georgia after Justin Fields left for Ohio State. Ohio State. We'll get him next year. I hope so, dude. Yeah. I freaking hope so. Bengals, Super Bowl, dub. Then next year, Ohio State, dub. Boom. We're here. Do you think the Bengals are going to get back to the Super Bowl? I, I mean, hey. One could They're help. looking good. One could, yeah. Yeah, I hope too. Let That'd me, be nice if we just yeah. go back and we, we actually prove, like, oh, shit. Like, yeah, it's not a fluke. What's up? The Rams fucking shit themselves this year too Mm -hmm. fuck the rams i fucking hate them also i hate stinson bennett i hate that georgia quarterback he was so fucking cocky if you watch the ohio state game they were like talking about how he was on the sideline after ohio state just scored he was on the sideline talking to the reporter and he was like yeah i'll be back i gotta go i'm about to go score a touchdown Mm -hmm. and then the sec the first play he throws a pick to ohio state and i was like i fucking hate him and yeah. He's twenty five, and he looks like a fucking. He looks like a. He looks like a goober. <laughs> he looks like a goober. He looks like a fucking goober, dude. <laughs> How so? He's just, what do you mean? Think of a goober. That's what okay. he looks like. Um. Uh, hmm. Okay. Yeah. So like. You got you got it in so mind. So Chase. Huh? Yeah, like Adrian. With the. <laughs> Since you don't like Stetson Bennett, let me ask you a question real quick. Where do you – he's uh, – this this season was his last elig- eligible year for NCAA, obviously. Yeah. Where do you think he's going in the draft after a six-touchdown performance? Well, I think everybody kind of understands that he was carried by the Georgia team. He was just surrounded by talent. I feel like any you could put any quarterback in that system, they they would have success. I think Stinson Bennett was probably the best choice for Georgia because he is 25 years old. He has a ton of fucking, like, just, uh, what's it called? Experience. So I, I do think he I do think he's a good quarterback. He's a good quarterback. I just fucking hate how cocky he is. He's not really that good. I think he'll go, he'll probably go, like, second or third round, mm-hmm. I bet. But if he didn't have the performance in the – this year, if he mm-hmm. if he went or declared last year, I feel like he would have gone like fifth or sixth. Right. But he's twenty five, so I so, doubt like a a team is really gonna try and invest their whole future into a guy like that. Same with Hendon Hooker; he's fucking twenty five. So, too. 
where do you see him best fitting in? What which team do you think? Uh, not really. I don't want to th- talk system really because that's like very fucking complicated. But wh- which team do you think seems just face value best place for someone like Stetson Bennett to end up? Um, what what um what were what was the uh, show called <laughs> where lingerie football? <laughs> Any team from that? <laughs> what? You never you ever watch lingerie football? It was like on MTV or something or Spike TV. No, it, it would think it was Spike or G four TV. G four? Why would G four show that stuff? Jeez, that is a Christian network. G <laughs> what? G four was a very lingerie. F- it's actually not called the lingerie football league. It's actually called the X League. The X X X League. No, just <laughs> X League. So that's what it's It was originally in t- 2009 founded as Lingerie Football League, and it later rebranded as Legends Football League in 2013. Oh, slick, slick little trade right there. But its official name is Extreme Football League, which is where the, the X <laughs> comes from. So just imagine, like, girls wearing football helmets, pads, and then just a full bikini. Nothing else. Uh, sounds, that's sounds, all it was. Sounds intense. <laughs> and they would get fucking. They would get pop, dude. It was insane. I never watched an episode. Mm. By the way, guys, I would just it always see like commercials. I would always see commercials, <laughs> but they would always show the highlights on the commercials. Yeah. I, here's an hey, embarrassing hey, thing. <laughs> you you want to hear an embarrassing thing I used to do? What's that? I would stay because on a uh, Spike TV, there was a uh, you, you ever heard about the like uh, adult film festival? Mm-hmm. It was like a bunch of porn, porno, porn actors that would all come together at this porn thing. Mm. When I was younger, because I didn't I didn't know like Internet porn was a thing. Mm. Uh I would stay up until like one o'clock in the morning because this is when the show would come on. They had a whole show on Spike TV about this, about this <laughs> like porn convention, yeah. and it was just always like new episodes. I think Sasha Gray uh, hosted it. <laughs> she she used to be a a, a porn actress mm. and a adult film star. I'm sorry. Um, so the name of this oh, little I, I think you're talking <laughs> about Adult Con. That's what I'm. Oh, scene I think here. So. <laughs> Adult entertainment convention. <laughs> I and that was before I was like I was like uh I didn't even know I could like uh masturbate either. So I was just watching it. I was just like this is insane. Naked girls. It wasn't even naked. They blurred it out because it was on TV. <laughs> You see, it was just like, why would I do that? I would never do that now, for sure. And <laughs> it was just like, it was like, there was a lot of questions that I can't even think of. Right. But why? Uh, uh, All right, Gannon, share us, share an embarrassing story about yourself. Embarrassing story about myself. Mm. You don't have to, but I mean... I think it's on the off top. Mm. Off the dome? Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. We've already told the beacon story. You can't tell that again. Okay, well, while he thinks of that, I want to kind of <laughs> segue back to um, the, the Women Football League because <laughs> you, were, you were mentioning the broadcasting of it. So they originally had a license with MTV2. Then in 2013, they began. Uh, releasing their games exclusively online, weekly based, on Saturdays, on YouTube. Jeez. And then at the start of the 2013-2014 Australia season, they signed an agreement with Seven Mate, which is a broadcasting channel in Australia. 2015, they had a new exclusive deal with Fuse. 2016, with the CW and My Network TV, as well as regional sports networks on a weekly week-delayed basis. And in 2017, Super Channel became the exclusive Canadian broadcaster. How far are we going? And as of May 22, 
the league announced that it would be launching a new subscription service called Fan Pass to directly stream the games. We just need to live and on We demand. just need a reset button. Why does every goddamn channel or show need its own goddamn streaming service uh, or subscription service? By the way, guys, we have a Patreon. It's only three dollars a month. <laughs> you get access to exclusive content. Only three dollars a month. Only three dollars. <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw that in there. <laughs> Random, it just kind of yeah. popped in my head. Um, but yeah, I was we. I got a new TV, and it's like a smart TV, mm. and I want to fucking I want to watch Crunchyroll, you know? Yeah. On that. What, what on my to, TV. What, what are you trying to watch on there? Uh, just anything. I've been trying to watch My Hero. I've been just trying to fucking Dude, get through it, that. That's <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough watch, man. Ow, ow, bro! It's so good. It's, so it's just like wait, wait, it's where are you it's at? like where are you at? Dude? I'm uh at the beginning of season four, I think. And you're what? <sighs> yeah, it's just. <sighs> it's just like it's like okay. Here, here's my issue with it. Okay. It's not that bad. I'm I'm really just like trying to like make it like worse than what it sounds. It's not bad. Mm-hmm. I understand the appeal. It's just when you go from like Chainsaw Man. To my hero, it's it's like uh, fuck, dude. What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? It's missing a lot of excitement. <gasps> For one, it's just a bunch of kids that have superpowers, and they honestly don't have the greatest superpowers. What? Some some do, but some don't. Well, that's some just life. And then and then there's entire <coughs> episodes of them like explaining their goddamn power, and I'm just like, God, I'm falling asleep, you know. And then and then it's like they're in school. It's just like they have fucking <laughs> homework and shit, and I'm just like, <sighs> this is like, come on. I know Dude. once I get past all that shit, once I get past all that, I know it's gonna be good. Cause even Trey was like, "Dude, like, there cool. hasn't been a season where I didn't cry at the end, you know." Mm. And I'm like, I feel that because at the end of every season, there is a good ass like fight yeah. scene. There's a good there. There's a lot of good stuff, but it's just like you have to get past that thick beginning part, right? And it's thick. It's tough to get through. Mm. I'm really, I'm really just like dragging my feet with it i've been trying to start other animes too just to kind of like tokyo revengers have you watched that i've been i was thinking of starting it i also wanted to start watching vinland saga because season oh, two is coming yeah. out yeah i was gonna say why don't you list the uh list the animes you're currently watching for the viewers uh my hero is the main one i'm watching um i've been trying to i never finished cowboy bebop so i started like where i left off with Cowboy Bebop. Oh yeah, and that one's that one's good. I don't like. Uh, there, there's I'm at a part where it's like there's not a main part. There's not like a main story that they're going on. It's just a bunch of side stuff, and I'm just like, mm. well, that's just like I'm at a part where like where like uh, Spike isn't in it at all. Then just uh, who's the main in that part? Like, uh, Jet is the Jet. main person. Yeah. And they just went on, like, a random adventure. It was the guy who, like, took his arm. That's why he has a robot arm. He went to go, like, find and kill that guy. Oh, I did just start watching this one anime. And I think you guys will actually like it. It's, it's, a lot of people compare it to Attack on Titan. Because it's got the same theme, kind of. But it's called, uh, it's called, like, Fortress something. I forget. I'll look it up. I'll fucking put it down below. Mm. Um, but it, it's like you said, what? fortress, fortress something. Yeah. Are you are you thinking Cabinery of the Iron yes, Fortress? Yes, that is it. Yeah. So what it is? It's like it is seriously the first episode is so fucking good. The animation is crisp. It is so good. And so essentially, it's like uh, I'm watching it on Crunchyroll, but. Uh, it might be on Hulu, maybe. Mm. It's definitely a. Look. It is on Crunchyroll, which I would assume is also also means Funimation and Amazon Prime Video. Mm. Both of those you have to have subscriptions. So you don't have to buy yeah, individual episodes or seasons off Amazon. Yeah, Amazon Prime, so. 
Definitely, because uh, it's like, instead of titans, people turn into, like, almost zombies, kind of. Mm-hmm. But they're fucking, they're tough ass zombies. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and essentially people, like, have these trains that they travel around in, and it's fucking armored to the bone. And uh, to just get supplies and stuff, you have to go in this train, and then there's a whole, like, examination process when you arrive to a town. And the, the town is, like, covered in, like, metal and stuff, and it's yeah. just, like, impossible for people to get in. But the first episode, the zombies somehow find a way in and kill the entire town. Because they don't even have, like, weapons to kill them. Yeah. So what are they trying to use to kill them? So the main character is like a engineer, but he's like a, like a, adolescent teen, maybe not, maybe he's just mm-hmm. a young adult. Uh, but no one's taking him seriously. But he's an inventor, and he invented a, like a weapon that kills him. Mm-hmm. But then in the first episode, he gets infected, mm-hmm. and I'm not going to spoil it. Hmm. Okay. Interesting fact about this uh, anime: it actually comes from the same the same studio that produces Attack on Titan. Oh, oh really? Oh, wow! There's characteristic. Boom. Yeah. As well as Vinland Saga. Oh. A, I, I guess you can kind of see that actually now. Thinking about yeah. it. It's of... cool though, because like when you're infected, they have these like suicide packs. Mm. And all you have to do is pull... You have to hold it up to your heart and pull a string, and it just pops your heart open. Jeez. It's fucking... It's yeah. brutal, dude, but it's mm. cool. It, I, definitely check it out. Yeah. Oh, jeez. That's good. What what animes are you watching, Gan? Uh, lately, it's just been pretty much catching... TVing up with uh, My Hero, and then White Clover, and... Tokyo Revengers, sorry. Yep. Yeah. No Chainsaw Man yet? Not yet. Actually, dude, I've been seeing clips, and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'll probably check it out. It's good. Yeah. It's good. It Honestly, good. It it's getting up there on my list. It might really? be top three. It might be top three. No. I think some of the uh, viewers are wondering what your guys' status is with uh, One Piece. <laughs> How far you guys are on that journey. Um, I, I, I yeah, eight. I'll let Gannon go first. Like episode eight, but the last time I was like watching it was like maybe a year ago. So I don't know if I'm gonna be catching up just yet. So I uh, started watching it during COVID, and I got all the way up to s- episode seventy or something. Mm. And now I've restarted it, or I haven't restarted it. I just picked it up where I left off. Mm. Uh, I took a two year break, and now I'm at episode <laughs> seventy. Two. And do you, I've only watched two episodes. And do you remember what like was going on when you're like watching it last? Does it, does, um, does it catch they're you fighting like two giants right now, or two giants are fighting themselves, and they're just kind of watching. Ah, uh, you were on the um, little garden, little sub arc, and the alabasta arc, and those two giants are Dory and Broggy. Yeah, that sounds familiar. What? <laughs> Well, <laughs> How uh, am I? Am I in good spot? Is it about to really kick off? So uh, I don't want to talk too episodes. much about it, but Alabasta <laughs> arc is really the beginning of where you get the whole. It, it gives you a little glimpse of what the world truly is, past this point of you know this is the, their first major um, conflict in the Grand Line, and from there it's just constant conflict you know battle growth finding new crew members um it, it, it's you're in a good spot to really get hooked because if you don't really get hooked on alabasta it gets a little harder to get hooked past that but alabasta is one of the best arcs of the show so it's very hard to watch that and be like eh, i'm not interested it, it, it you you fall in love more with the characters in the mm-hmm. show and you know, it's a very like Trey said with My Hero Academia. One Piece is one of those shows where at the end of the arcs, you, you um, you'll be shed even in the middle of arcs, you'll be shedding some tears. I thought you and said you were going to be that, shitting, and I was like, <laughs> probably. We are at the one hour mark. 
Just letting you. We are <laughs> at one post. hour, baby. That's why we brought Adrian on just to tell us when we're coming close. Yeah. Um, but Gannon, you had something to share with the class. Um, your your happy thing that you want to share with you know something original. Yeah. It's it is something original. Uh, yeah. Please, please uh, share with the rest of uh, the group. So, lately, just randomly stumbled upon what I think is called uh, the alternative. <laughs> it is, um, it's just a little something different. Um, I'm trying to find the, the exact one I want to share. Probably, mm, well, it really all started with In Dreams by Sierra Farrell. Hard to, hard to spell, but yeah. I start with that we'll song. be putting those in the in yeah. the link below also. Right. And but yeah, how how would you describe the genre, y'all alternative? It's like kind of like old school weird like American folk music. It's kind of it's fun. <laughs> well, so, would light. you date it? What? Would you date it like 1800s, early 19? What? Oh, like, well, how, how would you date? How would you date the style of music? I don't know, you say man. it's old school, but like how old school? I don't know. Because it's new, right? It's like yeah. new music coming out. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I would say like. So there's actually a little article here I'm finding from Blossom <laughs> Mag about the uh, y'all alternative movement, and it's described as being composed of people who are nostalgic for the traditions of their youth and the positive aspects of Southern culture. So it also says that um, Southern progressives, members of the LGBTQ plus community, and even former horse girls turned goths have found, you know, their identifier, which is the alternative. They got goths making music like this? I guess, uh, I guess former... Cowgirls were now goth girls. Interesting. It's a crazy world we live in. A crazy <laughs> world we live in, guys. That was that. I mean, that's fucking. That's as original as it gets. You know, yeah. like. What else you got? <laughs> what else? I mean, yeah. What else? Like, there's not like that much like new music coming out. That's like really groundbreaking stuff. Do you think this could be groundbreaking? Do you think this could be like a mainstream, probably not mainstream, but like a popular enough genre of music? Who, who knows? You never know what really catches anymore. This case with songs right now like pop off if, and then you hear them everywhere you go. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks Gannon for sharing. Uh, hope Hopefully you guys check it out and uh, hopefully it improves your life you know because that's why we're here absolutely that's why we're here or it's you know it's just something fun to check out with the family you know it's (laughs) with the family (laughs) with the family bro like just gather around the table and hold hands and (laughs) sing along to some y'all alternative (laughs) it sounds kind of crazy i don't know wicked yeah but um, yeah, we are at an hour, uh, a little bit over. Um, we did an extra long one last week, and mm. we, we definitely uh, don't have a lot of time left because my plan—I have to pay for this stuff. All right, mm. guys, and it's—it's it's a lot. It's not a lot, but it's—I don't want to have to pay for more. And mm. but you guys can help us. You can—you guys can support us by going to the Patreon. Yeah, <laughs> link will be in the bio. Uh, it's only three dollars a month. Only three dollars. That's right, Gannon. Only three dollars a month, and not only are you supporting me and Gannon, and now Adrian, mm. producer extraordinaire, <laughs> uh, we also have exclusive content for you guys. Mm. Next caller, Boom. death, our friend. Boom. New show coming out now. Eventually, maybe even Adrian's own show. I don't know. I don't know what he wants to do. Sky's the limit. Sky's the fuck. That'll man. be a, that'll be saved for next football season. Hopefully, I'll be starting a little little football corner, a little something original oh, football corner. Talk everything fantasy. Oh, yeah. 
everything i'd be football. down with just Might having like start a, up a little bit of basketball you know i would be down to have just like a sports commentating show mm. where we just talk like because i'm into sports i don't know how much gannon is into it but i'd be down to like hop on he's into ohio, ohio sports what? he's into ohio sports. i'm into you know, like ohio overall State, Cincinnati Bengals. oh well I, oh you're talking about gannon <laughs> <laughs> that's right so like, yeah like, how how about them uh bangles though Looking great. Looking great. Keep it going. But anyways, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, you go ahead. Anyways, guys, you can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. I already did the whole Patreon thing. Uh, but leave us like, leave us comments, subscribe if you like what you're hearing. Uh, but thank you, Adrian, for hopping on today. Uh, hopefully, yes. going forward, you will be our dex- always. designated I'll be here. producer. I'll always be here. Always, always lurking. In our always hearts. Watching. Uh, thank you, penises. thank you, Gannon, for <laughs> being on today. It's just I can't see when he's about to talk. He's fucking hidden. Um, Gannon, thank you for being on. No, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about Adrian. But <laughs> thank you for being on. No, dude, thank you for being no, on. No, brother, thank you for being on. I hope you're feeling better. Mm. Uh, hopefully, this will be out tonight. Maybe it might be Wednesday. I don't know. It might just uh, gabagool. Yeah. Um, if it's out on Wednesday, you you guys will just know I'm a lazy piece of shit. Um, but if it's out tonight, that means I'm productive and awesome. Um, I'm thinking though it might be the latter. It might be it might be tomorrow. I don't know. It's already five thirty my time. Um, but yeah. Uh, thank thank you guys for listening. Mm-hmm. My name was Chase, and I was and I will always be Gannon. Peace out. Bye-bye. See you, Adrian. See you, Adrian. Bye.